Hello everyone. Welcome on this short video on Onycannabos Skyhydra plugin for 3ds Max. Here you can see a model of a Sky Rifle, a model using the laser cut feature, which is an enhanced version of the 3ds Max Boolean system. For this demo, I'm gonna recreate a piece of this rifle that is pretty much designed to be edited in such way. To begin with, I'll keep that piece as reference to get the good shape right away and gain some time. I open the laser cut menu pressing L. As you can see, there's four tabs each one managing a boolean operation. What I want to do is create an object using the polyline tool. It will enable me to draw a shape in two dimensions. I pick my mesh with thin node and start drawing my new mesh. If I press shift while clicking, the line will be straight. If I'm not satisfied with it, I can also press Ctrl backspace to go back. Once I close the shape, I still can edit it easily, moving those dots. Once again, pressing shift will make the dots move along desired axis. Then, I can click the circle to create a chamfer as needed. I can also increase the chamfer density if I'm not satisfied with it. I just convert it to editable poly, delete some unwanted edges, and apply a symmetry with shift slash. And boom, the page mesh is created. Now I can use the original reference I worked with in the first place to get all the smaller details on this piece. Let's begin with the top rail. Very easy. I just adjust it to my reference and go in the subtract operation tab and select the rectangle cutter. I simply draw it in front of the object. Because laser cut is allowing it, I could instantiate that box with a certain amount to make the whole rail. Or, I can go in the laser cut tools in the top bar and apply a linear clone modifier to it. It's working pretty much like an array. There's a helper to offset that array. Too big for what I'm doing. For an easier use, I'll check the last clone mode so I can control the array like a spline. Then, I just move it to the left and increase the clone number by clicking on the box. Now let's go for the other details. For this one I'll draw a box. For now the cutter is going all the way through the mesh, but I can modify its height value if needed. Here I'm looking for corners that are even. For that, I click the first circle and press Ctrl. I select the other one and it applies the chamfer all at once. Cutters can also be edited manually like standard meshes easily. There, I'll use a FFD modifier to adjust the cutter and an edit poly to weld some vertex. Same thing here, using the polyline in subtract mode this time. To make the shape even, I just have to add two symmetry modifiers, again using the shift slash shortcut. <laughs> Once I'm done, I can make my high poly in just a few clicks, because Key Hydra is bringing another feature that is pretty comfortable. It's in Set Smooth Group, an enhanced version of the chamfer modifier. Sometimes, it may not work at first. Remember that laser cut is a boolean tool. You won't have the perfect topology right away, and some cleaning will be needed here and there. And there you go. Once the mesh is clean, the inset smooth group modifier is working perfectly. This new model can totally replace the previous one, and to make the low poly version, I just have to delete the inset smooth group and clean my model further. That's where it stops. 
in a few minutes I've been able to create this shape and you can go much more in complexity without much complications. Thanks for watching. Hope it gives you a taste for this plugin. You should give it a try. See you another time. Take care.